But I got called into the Pretty Little Liars creator's office. And she was just like, so we're going to let you go. I, yeah, I just gave away everything I cared about, you know. Lindsay Shaw emotionally revealing she was fired from Pretty Little Liars for drug use. She's like, it's not because you're acting. She's like, but do you have anybody to talk to? <laughs> and I was like, um, no, you know? I've always felt like, I've always felt super on the outskirts of everything, only because I look in and I'm like, what? It, I, none of it made sense to me ever. Everything always just seemed so much bigger to me. Lindsay, known for her roles on PLL and Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, opened up about her history with drugs to her former co-stars on the Ned's Declassified podcast, and revealed that her drug problem was a manifestation of deeper personal issues. You know, I would never have to like address my relationship with food because I was, I was like, oh, I could always just go get more Adderall. Do you know what I mean? And like be okay with it. So it was really hard. And I especially, I got basically let go from Pretty Little Liars in season five. Um, because of the weight that I had lost. And it was mm. really an embarrassing, uh, embarrassing thing. I'll take you to the airport. My parents will take me, you don't have to do that. I don't have to, I want to. Like I, I didn't look good too skinny. And then, you know, then when I put, started to put the weight back on, I couldn't handle it being too heavy. So it kind of like played into this dumb cycle. Lindsay's character Paige was written off the show in season five, but the PLL writers brought her back in the show's final season for a proper goodbye. Well, we both ran into some bumps in the road, me literally, but here we are, better than ever. They they did me so right, like bringing me back for season seven and just letting me say goodbye. Like, That's so nice. I will just never forget that writer's room. Thankfully, Lindsay's in a better place now, where she's able to appreciate and accept her past. That was, you know, a wild time and it kind of brought me here to where I am now. And for yeah. better, for worse, whatever happens in the future, like, this is the only life that I can be living.